everyone! So I haven't made a video in a very long time and the reason for that is that I have been in school and working full time um, and just life in general. So I haven't had time to make videos but it's something I really want to get back into this summer since I have a lot more time on my hands. So I thought I would start off with a get ready with me video which I filmed the look that I have on my face. Um, and then a April favorites video, so things that I've been loving to use a lot in the month of April. I will start in the order that I would apply my products. So my favorite foundation this month has actually been the Clinique Chubby Stick. Chubby in the nude foundation stick, which is really weird. I'm just going to call it the Clinique foundation stick. Um, I have the lightest color, I believe, which is number 02 Abundant Alabaster. and. Basically, this is the easiest foundation I've ever used in my life. I just kind of draw it all over my face, and then I use my um, e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, and I kind of just buff it in. And then if I need any extra coverage, like where I would use concealer on like blemishes or things, I will just do an extra kind of smudge over those spots and just dab my brush, and it blends out super easily. I can do my foundation in less than a minute with this product. Um, and I find that it lasts very well as well, even if I don't use a primer. So another base kind of product that I've been loving is actually the Benefit Air Patrol. I didn't used to like using eyeshadow primers because I didn't think they did anything. I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion Eye, but it doesn't do much for me. But this one actually, I found it doesn't necessarily do anything for the pigmentation of my eyeshadows, but it does make them last a lot longer at the pigmentation they provide. Um, and I also really like that it does have sunscreen in it too, especially now that the weather's warming up and I want to be outside more. Um, I think it's really good for things that go around your eyes to have sunscreen in them. Next I will talk about my favorite brow product and it is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. And this is just a tinted brow mascara. It's got a little bit of fibers in it, the brush is very small. Um, and that's all I have in my brows today and I find it very easy to use, very quick that is a trend <laughs> and um, it's it just does the job and it's very quick and easy and then for blush for whatever reason all I've been using for blush really is this Tarte one in the shade Fanciful um, mine actually I just realized has a crack in the center of it and it's been really powdery recently because of that so I don't know if I maybe dropped it or something but it's just a very nice bright pink color I'll swatch it on the back of my hand for you so this is kind of, it's like a, a soft but bright paint color when you blend it out. So this I just use with um, my, this, this brush. I got it from Jane Cosmetics and it's just an angled blush brush. It says contour on here but I just kind of tap it onto my cheeks and I find the shape of it, if I just tap, it almost blends itself out so it's really easy. Um, and then for bronzer, my absolute favorite bronzer of all time is the Body Shop Baked Bronzer in the shade Warm Glow or 02. This is the more pinkier toned one. And now this one, it looks like it has a lot of shimmer in it when you like swatch it or you look in the pan. But when it's on the skin, it just kind of gives you a warmth without being too orange, especially if you're fair. Um, and I find it gives a nice glow. It doesn't look shimmery, but it definitely is not super matte. Um, and I just take this with my, this is another body shop, this is the blush brush. Oh no, this is a face and body brush, sorry. And I kind of like zhuzh it on here, and then I kind of do that motion. And then for eyeshadow, I just bought this. This is only the second time I've used it. This is what I have on my eyes today. But it's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this one, I haven't actually really paid attention to the instructions on the back on how you're supposed to use it, but I watched a tutorial with the plum version of it, and I kind of copied the steps she took in that video with this palette. Um, so if I can find it, I'm going to link it below because it's a really fun tutorial and I really like how she filmed it. It's like inspirational. Um, but yeah, so this one just has some smoky colors in it, and I don't really have anything that's got like a smoky look in it for my palettes. Most of them are either bright or natural. Um, and I will swatch this for you as well. Um, these are really pigmented and I find, where am I going to put it? I'll put it on my 
I'll put it on my wrist. Okay, so um, they're really pigmented. The white color in the palette almost has a bit of a sheen to it, um, but all the other ones are very matte. Um, I feel like the swatches don't do it justice, but so those are the colors there. The white one doesn't really show up because I'm so pasty, but I find these make a really gorgeous smoky eye. So what I did today was I put the gray on the inner and outer crease, and then the black just at the very edges of both of those. The kind of taupey brown shade I did in the crease to blend out, and then the white is in the center of my lid and on my brow bone. Um, last makeup product is one of the YSL Volupte Shine and Oils. Yes. Um, and I have the shade number 44. And that's what I have on today over a Body Shop lip liner. And this is gorgeous. This is like the pink shade I've been looking for all of my life. It's very moisturizing, very shiny. It kind of dries down to like a stain texture, but it doesn't look dry or cakey or weird. It kind of fades in a very nice way. I do find I have to reapply somewhat frequently, but if you want a creamy, glossy texture of a lipstick, you usually have to reapply it. It doesn't stay like that forever. So I love, there's actually one more makeup product that I want to talk about, and it's the Dior Lip Maximizer. Um, this is a tiny little baby one I got with a 500 point perk at Sephora, um, and I'm sure that this gets a lot of hype on YouTube, but I like it as a lip balm more than I like it as a lip plumper, but I have found that the lines in my lips have smoothed quite a bit since I've started using it, and any lip product goes over this really easily. So as soon as my little baby sized one is used up, I'm probably going to grab a full size of it. And then for hair, this is a very recent discovery. I literally used this for the first time um, two days ago. But it is the John Frieda Luxurious Volume 7 Day Volume In Shower Treatment thingy. Um, if you go to the drugstores, it's in actually a box and I will insert a picture of the box and I will insert a picture of my hair the day after I use this because it's the most gorgeous I have ever looked with the least amount of effort. So, well not to toot my own horn, but you know, I really liked how it looked. So basically what you do is you wash and condition your hair like normal, and then you'll put this in from roots to ends and let it sit for about three to four minutes. So what I did was while I was in the shower waiting for this to work, I put on a face mask, I like shaved my legs, and then I rinsed this out, rinsed off my face mask, yada yada. and. Then I blow dried my hair, so I did like a rough dry where you're like shaking out the hair where you have your hair dryer, and then I flipped my hair upside down and dried the roots that way. And then when I was sleeping, I used my other favorite, which this is one of the Invisibobble hair ties. Um, I have the color pretzel brown because it's brown like my hair. Um, and what I did was, after my hair was like 99% dry, I flipped all my hair up on top of my head, I twisted it into a bun, and then I put my little Invisibobble hair tie around it, and slept with it up in that bun after doing that treatment, and then the next day, I'll insert the picture now, all I did was let my hair down from my bun, and I had the most gorgeous big loose waves and volume and I have very fine hair that is very broken and damaged and I looked like I had a full blowout and all I did was rough dry my hair the night before and sleep with it in a bun. So I'm very excited to see how this continues to work for me um, and it's fairly affordable too so it, when I bought it it was on sale for I think like 10 bucks and then there was even a, a coupon on the display that was $2.75 off so I got this for like seven, $7.25 $7 and since you only use it once a week and it lasts for two to three washes like this is gonna last me for a couple of months even though it's a pretty small amount it's only 120 milliliters um, and in the shower you only need about three or four pumps of it so if you need volume in your hair and you are lazy about it, try this out because I don't have any mousse or anything in my hair in the picture that I showed you. Like it's just, I blow dried my hair with this. Um, so that is everything for the month of April. 
I'm going to be uploading a get ready with me type video where basically I just do this makeup and you can watch me do it. Um, and that is everything. So thanks for watching and I will try and upload at least once a week, if not twice a week, um, for the summer months. So I will see you guys.